version of Yahoo Mail was accessible, so we want to definitely maintain a certain level of accessibility within the new product, but we wanted to go beyond that and make the new version of Yahoo Mail even more accessible. Um, and what that really meant was changing the way in which it was accessible. The old version of the product uh, was accessible in a way that um, the user experience was actually in the control of third-party assistive technology like screeners. They actually dictated what the experience was on Yahoo Mail. We wanted to change that so that um, we were in charge of delivering what the experience of the user was. Um, and so that's exactly what we did. We built a product where we actually um, had control. Um, and more concretely, what that meant was um, delivering uh, features like you could use the product whether you were using a keyboard or a mouse, and the product would be equally accessible regardless of which device you were using. Moments I think the accessibility team had when we were working with Mail was how we realized it was necessary to work with every single aspect of the product, so everyone involved. Um, and people that you typically wouldn't even think of, like product managers um, or even people that work on the help team. So, you know, the fact that we were able to work so closely with the product development team and actually get them involved so that they actually own accessibility from the product perspective or even the folks who work on the help team and they, we are going to be incorporating um, you know, screencasts of how to use the product with the screen reader right into our help documentation. So that's what I, what I really want everyone to know at Yahoo is that no matter what your role is um, on the product that you work on, there is a capacity in which we would be happy to work with you as a member of the accessibility team.